out in the street in Pacific Beach. That's where we used to meet. So I put up a video last night. This is important because inside this link, I'll link it to you. There's an actually two-minute interview with the biologist. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Well, you're paid to know why this. Uh, well, whatever. We just don't have enough money. Well, uh, uh, he's probably on the beach with his feet up in Mexico. They don't do shit. ODFW, WFW, ADFW, Alaska Fishing Game, they don't do anything. They're worthless, lazy pieces of shit. Period. Worthless. Fuck, you call up there, oh, they're off. I call them all the time. They're worthless. They're mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're stumped. We don't have enough money. That's always their answer. We don't have enough How much do you make a year and you don't do work? I mean, it's pathetic. So... They've come out and said the worst, and I went through the numbers. I've gone through them. I've gotten so sophisticated about salmon runs over the 10 years. It's unbelievable. The worst run in history. Now, you go back to the 60s when they had some horrible runs. That was the beds. The fucking invaders, fucking slaughter. And I want to talk about the renaming of Pacific Beach Middle School. It's very significant. In California, I grew up here in West River, Utah. I went to West River Elementary. My grandparents' home in Pacific Beach. You know, and I go with them. I spend a lot of time, you know, popped in and out of those schools. So, Martha Farm, <laughs> Kate Sessions. Oh my God, that Berkeley freak! What she did to that place, the Tiki Tor. Oh, and they sensationalized like she's some goddess in her fucking seasick mule. Oh, it makes you fucking sick what they did. So, I want to talk, and I, hopefully these young two black. Young girls at PB Middle School did this. I'm so proud of them. I think it's amazing. You don't know racism. La Jolla right there, Bird Rock, which I call the slums of La Jolla right there. Fuck, when I grew up, fuck. They were so racist down there. They make us, I mean, here in Utah. I mean, of course, fuck, you don't know racism. So try being indigenous. Try being Kumia or Shumash. Try being Kumia in San Diego. I'll show you racism. You know, so this is important because I'm going to talk a lot about this. Guess where Tom Brady went to high school? Same name school. Yeah, the mass murder. Yeah, Father Sarah. Yep, he went to the, in San Mateo. That's where Tom Brady grew up. You know, so did uh, Barry Bonds went to that school. You know, put Barry Bonds in the Hall of Fame, you fuckheads. I mean, I remember I was in San Francisco in all those days. I go back from New York to San Francisco. I mean, watching Bonds crack them into the fucking water. Opening day, I think that was 2001. Pack Bell! I love that stadium, but the tickets are fucking insane. But, you know, it's just like the low lying fruit of the Trump. Lock them all up, lock them all up. It's just like in baseball. Bonds was watching people break his records when he knew he was the best player. Oh, oh really? You wanted it? Watch this. By the way, he broke the San Diego guys on base fucking record. I mean, I remember watching him in those days. He either hit a home run or fucking walked, period, every time at bat. I mean, ooh, on Balco. Balco's in the Bay Area, right? Balco, the Williams girls, Balco. Lance Armstrong fucking faking his cancer and his fucking cheating, Balco. Jerry Rice, Balco. All these Bear athletes, Balco. The Invaders, spring football. So... They changed the name. In 1945, everybody in PB got together and signed petitions. We don't want these two black teachers teaching our white kids. I mean, you're talking CIA high. And by the way, I lived on Noyes. Everybody says, oh, how's Noyes freaking named and only? A, B, C, D. That's Arthur Noyes from the fucking Jet Professional Lab at Pasadena. He lived there. That's what's named after these. Ask Frank Zappa's dad. I mean... The La Jolla, ask for me, ask Einstein, all these fucking freaks ended up there. So it's, how significant is this? Because I want to talk about the roots of the word California. California, and I hope these two young women get this. This is significant what they did. Change the fucking Tom Brady school. Change it to Tom Brady. I'm all for that. Change it to Barry Bonds. Change it to Brady Bonds. Hi. Why not? Why not? You know that Irish from Ireland to Boston to California to Michigan to, Bo to Florida. The invaders kill the indigenous people. 
Nobody mass murdered fucking this Spanish cunt. He said, you need to learn to speak American. American Vespucci spoke Italiano. Map maker. Fazier is one of the great mass murderers in fucking world history. The word California. Now, this is a good story for you two, because I'm in PB. I'm in Martha Farm Elementary, which that's PB Elementary, you know, getting ready to come home to go to West Weber Elementary. And we were learning the root of the word California. Now, California 250, I was there. California 200, San Diego. We rolled, we got the Kumia flag up. By the way, the mayor's still pissed off because I flipped him the bird. He's a mission bay. He's a pb -er. So, I mean, a lot of Mormon boys there, by the way. The statue at Old Town. It's all gold. Gold. The kill people for gold. I like it in the Central Coast when I'm there. Mary always tells me she's really old. You know, John Steinbeck, and I always sit there with, you know, Doc Ricketts' bastardette granddaughter, you know, which she really is. She got the DNA. I mean, they were there for the prostitutes, Steinbeck and Ricketts, you know, the girls canning, you know, young girls. I mean, whoa, the root. California, the Spanish mass murderers when they came in. You know, Don Quixote on Balco, the fucking line. I could write a whole book just on the Baja right there, just on California, the fucking killers. The Mormon battalion, that's how the Mormons came to be. Without the fucking gold, when they, the tree ceremony at Monterey, that's my grandfather, my great-grandfather, I mean, they found the gold at Sutter's, they, they sacked it up, the Comstock, that's all Mormons, they bought, that's what fucking turned this place into what it is, without that there is, it's, it was about the gold, she always says, Kevin, you know, you talk about Steinbeck, you talk about records, everything, I knew the fucking dickhead, she says, he was a prick, she says, you don't think the indigenous people you know, the Mexican people, Chavez Ravine, you don't think they knew the gold was here? They knew. They didn't care. They had no use for it. You know, what? they weren't just into living their lives. And these claims, says, these Okies and Arkies come across, oh, fucking hideous. Disgusting. I get it. I understand that. I mean, these pretty amazing stories. It's all rooted in the gold. So the word California changed the fucking, I've said for years, my whole life. So I stand up in class. I'm just a little teeny kid. I think first grade. We're learning about California right after we learned about the tide pools. Get your crowns out when they killed the tide pools. Right there at False Bay. I grew up right there at False Bay. You know, next to the racetrack on Hunsaker Avenue. And so, I said, well, California really is worded in killing people for profit. It's, it's the Latin word rooted for kill. It's all about the gold. And I got sent to the principal's office. And my grandfather showed up. And when he shows up, you know you're in trouble. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. It wasn't grandma. I'm like, whoa, whoa. And he says, who's the teacher? Where's the principal? I want to talk to him. This is himself. <laughs> the Abe the Fourth, the statue at Old Town. What are you talking about? What, because he told the truth? That's exactly what it means. So when the Spanish murders came in, Spanish, that, what do you think? Me and my daughter do the, I'm so good at the flamingo. We do that at her wedding in the Terranian Sea. And everybody's like, oh my God, where'd you learn? And I had that Santa Barbara shirt on. Where's that shirt? Grab that shirt. You need to get that on for this. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was made in Santa Barbara, California. How did Santa Barbara, California kind of be? That's where they first started unleashing cattle onto the landscape, the Spanish murders. So... Father Sarah, this is a great story. I'm walking the coast documenting all the dead tide pools. I sleep in Carmel Cove. Very dangerous place to sleep. A lot of people get killed there because it moves in. It's so hollow. It's, I love that place. You know, <laughs> Dirty Harry on Balco. And his, I talked to him and his 30-year-old wife. <laughs> Got it. Carmel 100. That was in 2016. I actually visited with the old fucker. In Carmel Cove, I'm sleeping there. I almost got a waterbed. And I knew where high tide was. Oh, boy. I, I mean, I'm on it. But I was way up high. And it came in even higher. You could hear it roaring. My sleep bag got wet. And I woke up and then, you know, wee hours. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm going to die. Holy fuck. I'm not full of cancer. I'm sick. I'm like, oh, no, no. So I wrap up and I walk over the slough. And I walk up and I get to the missions, you know. I think that one's number 16, the Carmel 21. 
used to be in Monterey, where the tree, where the ceremony, where they turned it to Mexico, where they kicked the Spanish out, took it back over to Mexico from 1821 to 48. Then they turned it into the United States, drew the line, Polk invaded, raised the American flag. The American pop is freaked out. Taylor, I could write fucking book after book. So I'm fucking dying and the door's open on the, and I, I remember walking right by and I'm like, the graveyard's right there. And I really never paid attention to that fucking cemetery at the mission right there in Carmel. I took this really crazy picture. It wasn't until fucking... I always thought he was buried in San Diego. But they took him back to Spain. I didn't realize he was buried there. So that night, he let me in there. And he says, you know, you sleep on the bench here. You know, he gave me a blanket and everything. And I slept on that bench. Almost died that night. Fucking, whoa. He was a mass murderer. The Spanish came in. You go in up onto the... The tide pools, you know, at the cemetery. I like everybody's buried on the cemetery right there. Cabrillo State Park up on the top. What a fucking view and vista that is. No wonder all the pseudo de facto writers in Don Quixote talked about it being heaven. When Polk invaded, when he says he got there, every single soldier wrote in their journal that they thought, you know, Mexico, when they were there, they thought they were in heaven. I mean, these are Spanish murderers who'd been all over the world. And they're like, oh, no, we're staying. My grandfather stayed. You know, brought the gold here. We just call it Hunts Acre Vale, Honeyville. They bought up the whole... The sand that's on the beaches came from Brigham City, Utah. That's my grandfather's pit. I grew up in it. Scars all over my body. But anyway, so the word is important because the salmon claps. You know, oh, it's Christopher Clark. No, it's not. The Spanish murderers, fuck, before that, the Chinese, I mean, come on, indigenous people are Asian. Came over, I mean, DNA's proved that. You know, they've only been here for at least 13,000. Like Kumiya says, oh, we'll stick your nerve, 13 to 18,000, but it's probably much longer than that. God, what a place it was even when I was a kid. It was so beautiful, so spectacular. And, you know, they tore them all out. You know, Mission Bay's all manufactured. It's toxic as fucking hell. So... The word comes from the West Indies fucking island. The Spanish mythology. There's an island there. Queen California. Rules. All black women. These are two young black women who did this. You know, 14-year-old girls. I think it's amazing. I wonder if they know this story. I'm thrilled. And... That's PB Middle School. They're going to name it after the two black couple that got kicked out. They're going to name it after them. But up there on the mission, Bill Walton's freaking neighborhood. Peter lives there. They're going to rename that one the Rattlesnakes. They took Sierra's name off. You know, take off the name in San Mateo. Barry Bonds and Tom Brady's school. By the way, all you young athletes, just remember this. Tom Brady was drafted 199th. You heard me right. Uh, and by fate and luck, well, how many young great athletes never get a fucking get on the field? You know, they're drafting the NFL, sit for a backup, never fucking play. It was that hit by Mo Lewis that hit fucking Bledsoe. Fuck, that was a name. I remember that night. I remember watching that fucking game that night. That's back when I still had a TV in my big, beautiful house. I don't know how to kill him. I mean, what a violent sport. And in come Tom Brady, and immediately... Remember that game in 2003 where they got beat 31 to nothing by the Bills and then the last game of the season they went 31 to nothing? Well, they went 20, 30 games in a row. Young Brady, still fucking winning. Name after Tom Brady. You know, I don't like the fucker as far as what he does with the money. He makes me sick. But as far as the athlete goes, oh, can't deny that, can you? So the Spanish murderers, they got to the Baja there and they started to find gold. You can read up on the wall. Vasquez, you know, Cabrillo, all of them written. We are here for one reason, to embellish the queen's wealth, to bring home the gold. That's what it says. That was it. It was all about the gold. They had this mythology. It was all about the gold. It's, they still love it. You know, the Spanish freaking culture still. And, you know, the, what's a Mexican? Really, a Spaniard who's bred with an indigenous person? Well, all different, right? I mean, it's amazing, you know. Seven flags named seven flags. So they've changed the border seven times. 
You know, let's change it again. I'm all for changing it again. You remember he went all the way to Mexico City where the American Ameri poppies had a fucking fit. This was Mexico when I lived here. I got an argument with a guy in PB, a professor in Old Town. The Gary House was a slave house. You know, they fucking used to kidnap... The Spanish would kidnap kids. That's why it's called Spanish work in Utah. Little soldiers buried next to my dad right here. Fucking, they got one of his kids. He fought back. They would fucking literally bounty the United States government, 63, the great fucking... They would murder those people. Just going and... <laughs> citizen soldiers. Fucking here. Fucking James Hunsaker, the sheriff. White Earp. Yeehaw, yeehaw, yeehaw. They were murderers. He was like, so when they learned, taught him how to lay rock to build the missions, you know, the mission was at Carmel. That's where the tree is. I've done anything. That's a Catholic private school now, but you can still go into the marker. Floated the tree out into Carmel. They brought it back. That was 1848. Abe stood there, found the gold of Sutter's. They were all Mormons. James Marshall, they were all Mormons. You know, bought up all the mineral rights here. My grandfather was a Mormon socialist, so I didn't inherit one fucking dime. I was required to learn to trade at 16 years old. I don't know what the fuck happened to my cousins and cousins. I mean, they don't think like I think. So, I stood up and I said, California means killed, dead. You know, Spanish invaders murder people. And I got in trouble when my grandma says, well, that's exactly what it means. Come on. It was Spanish mythology for gold. Because this mytholo mythological... Spanish mythological island. And sh they were Muslims, of course, in the Christian Muslim war, which is still going on to this day. They still play this, you know, religious wars. God's gains guns. God's gains lowest common denominator. And so, you know, California of all places. So, you know, there's a book written, you know, well, it's more than books. It was very rooted in Spanish culture. It's like when I'm doing my dance there. I went into this place on La Jolla Avenue, and this guy who claims he's this European, he's an artist, flamingo. I said, let me show you how to do the real California beatnik flamingo. And this really beautiful girl, the waitress there, I said, come here. She's like, oh my God, where did you learn that? I said, here, come on, the Spanish murderers, the invaders, come on. <laughs> you know, the lemon girls, the PB, I mean, hello, hello, hello. It was a mythological island, all black women. And the queen would fly her griffins over and kill the Christian crusaders, and it was full of gold. And they're like, oh, God, we found it. It's been romanticized in Spanish culture for thousands of... Picasso! Hey, a pal, getting down, no? Dolly! Goya, Picasso, Goya, Picasso, Goya, Mero, Goya, Picasso, Goya, Picasso. Where I found my Goya shirt the other day. Dolly! Salvador Dolly, are you a sworn communist like Picasso? He's living in the United States. Picasso stood there. Franco is still alive. I certainly am. Not what I certainly am. He lived in Monterey. I'm a big Jeffers fan. Robin Jeffers, my favorite American poet, that Irish boy, and his wife who died so young of cancer. I'm, I love Mae Brussels. I do lots of work at her. Free, they, she was the greatest. Carmel, ooh, what's that smell? He's buried right there. He was a mass murderer. After he would get done teaching him how to, he'd make him dig a trench and line him up. They either swore a lot allegiance to the church, who was so evil in those days. And if they didn't, you know, that was their destiny. They didn't. They killed him. They murdered him. So the United States government, post-Civil War, came out here in bounty houses. There was a bounty house on Wall Avenue right here in Ogden. Why is it named Wall? Keep them out. You know, when they killed Chief Cherokee, Stuart murdered him. My great-grandfather, the very first person here, our family's been here since 1822. You know, the Spanish, they were French, and Jedediah Smith changed that fucking name on the Jedediah Smith on the river. I mean, that's disgusting. He lived in Ogden here. You know, the movie Revenant, when they killed him, that's based on Jedediah Smith, Jim Bridger, and Glass is 
journals. They all lived here in Ogden. They were out here raping the fur, raping the ecology. Just and I, I just got to see the tail end of it. It's so beautiful. It must take your breath away. John Weber, that Danish boy. Hmm. It, it's rooted in the Latin phrase of murder and death and kill for profit, for gold. Worship the golden calf. The California socialist, this is a great story about my ties here. Chavez Ravine, the Mexican people of Los Angeles hate the Dodgers to this fucking day with a bloody passion. You know, and us in San Diego here in Ogden, we hated LA. I mean, drop me off at San Onofre, the girls are going to go shopping. Going to Los Angeles, fuck you, not me. I won't go in that place. I'm Orange County, I love Laguna, I mean, but the culture, I'm not going to fucking LA. I'm staying in San Diego, drop me off at fucking San Onofre, I'll go fucking serve and get radiated. <laughs> Chavez Ravine, that great socialist governor from California, who was accused of being the great socialist forever, who fought against, he wanted all the names changed clear back then. Olson. Look him up. Look him up. He went to Ogden High. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. He died, stroked out, I think, a day or two after... They broke ground and finally kicked the last indigenous people out. The O'Malley's come from New York from the Dodgers. Change the fucking name to Brady Bonds. I mean, there's a bunch of marquee athletes that went to that high school. Fuck, I love San Mateo County. I mean, it burned all the way. We were I mean, That tide pool video, it's got 114. That's San Mateo. Fuck, I love that place. It's so fucking beautiful there. It's one of my favorite places in the world. All right, the old fucking concrete factory, <laughs> factory there in fucking Davenport. That's Santa Cruz, right? I mean, right there on the border. I mean, change the fucking name. He's a fucking murderer. California, the word rooted in that mythology. Oh, oh, it's just about that. No, no, it's rooted in fucking robbing the gold. They found the gold. Yay, the gold. The gold is the root of all of this. Without the gold, there is no Mormon church. They fucking stayed. The Mormon battalion didn't do any fighting on the Mexican border. Fucking, I just killed a man on the Mexican. Give me some water. I mean, Pacho and Lefty! Fucking Lefty died in Ohio! Fucking. First, they come for the bubble. First, they come for the craftsman. I won't stop there. Change the fucking names! I've said for years in California. Once the people find out the truth of these fucking Spanish fucking invader murderers, they were Spanish fucking royalty. Killers! Killers! Murderers! Hardcore murderers! Everything's named after him. It's disgusting. Sarah's one of the great mass murders in human history. Swear allegiance. Kiss my ring to the fuck. The big cross is Father Escalante. Here in Utah, they did it for years. You can see they ride their bareback horses, put their hoods on. Father Escalante toward the lake, but come on. Come on. The Shoshone, this was their home, little soldier. The Ute Trail, the Shoshone, the Goshoot, which they're cousins with the Comanches, you know, all of them. The Bannock, we fight back, French bred in, fucking the French, for, but they all wintered right here behind my house on the edge of the Great Salt Lake in the winter. You know, I have a decoy 4,000 years, I got a little mountain, there's what's their nuclear waste now. Fucking <laughs> the trench. They were willing to kill themselves, poison it for profit. Change the fucking name, Tom Brady. Do something right. You know, the greatest football player who ever lived, he's second. Whoa, whoa, he's the whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, that's Jim Thorpe. <laughs> he didn't get much of a chance, did he? Uh, Brady, what, uh, unbelievable. Just remember all you young athletes. I mean, I was a great young athlete, abused, I broke my leg. Remember these coaches just abuse us? David Wells is from there. I remember talking to David Wells, drinking. He's still around. I think he's the baseball. He was the baseball. I tried to kid him. He says, yeah, he's our, he was our baseball coach at Point Loma. He sucked as a coach. What a player, huh? One of the greatest teams in history that Babe Ruth Yankees know that. Yankee team that won. What did they win? 116 games that year. That wasn't that long ago. He was on that team. Perfect game. John Larson. He wasn't born there. Tony Gwynn. No. How about fucking the guy Barry Bonds broke his fucking records. The Red Sox. He's a native San Diegan, right? Right? 
Ted Williams. Bonds broke his fucking record by on base percentage that stood since 94. Remember, Ted Williams went to the fucking war for a couple years, too. Tony Gwynn was a great basketball player. Bill Walton, I love Bill. I always loved him. He's an asshole, and I know him personally. Walton, well, he's old, 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 old school. I think at least Stanford kills you, Sid Pac-12. Again, they were called the Stanford Indians, the Utah Indians. Pac-12. Change the fucking name. Come on, Brady, change the name. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds put him in the Hall of Fame today. Look, he's sitting there watching these fucking idiots break his records. Steroid goons, all from Oakland. Mark McGuire, at least Canseco came clean. Mark McGuire, fucking creep you out. Tony Lasser, keep you out. Baseball metaphors. I mean, creep you the fuck out. He's watching those guys break his record. He knows he's the best. So, watch. Oh, you want to play? Watch me. I'll go shoot up your balco for a while. Well, he did that. I was in that stadium. Watch. I remember. The Rockies were watching the game. We're sitting right behind me and my daughter. And he ripped a foul ball straight back and almost went through the fucking net. And this is in the ninth. I said, they're really going to pitch to him with a guy on. <laughs> they're down by one, and this is the bottom of the ninth. I said, he ripped that one. I said, it's gone. Next pitch. They don't dare walk him. That fucker hit one so far out into the ocean. He, I mean, what he did. Oh, oh, my God. Put Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. Because it's just like the low-lying fruit at the fucking... Oh, Sister Susie, Auntie Jen, someone's ringing the bell, someone's knocking at the door, someone's knocking at the door, someone's ringing the bell. Do me a favor, open the door, and let him in. Nah, nah, nah. I know Sands personally. I led this exact march where they had, they didn't let us in, the Million Mass March. Black, I don't tell you, young women, really, Black Lives Matter. Started in Weber State University and Pacific Beach, California. It was called the Million Mass March. Me and John Anthony Fairhurst, who's half black, half Cherokee Indian, he and I started it together. I was in Pacific Beach, California. I think it's, oh, I was so thrilled when I saw this other day, Peter sent it to me on uh, Father Sierra's name coming off up on the hill. And then I started reading, oh, they're changing PB. And it's perfect what you did. These two young women. I think. California's named after the mythological all black women island for the gold. But you deep into the Spanish myth, it's even much evil and deeper than that. You know, the Muslim black women flying. I love it. California. What a word. What a term. Welcome to the hotel. What a fucking song. None of them from California. The Rat Boys are. I knew Robin Crosby personally. From he grew up right by me. Bird Rock, which we call the slums of La Jolla. I love that guy. He's dead. I think uh, Stephen's still alive up there on the hill with Peter. All these, you know, the Blue Door, you know, the Invaders. Change the fucking name, Tom Brady. I'm gonna send this to Tom Brady's fucking site. The goat, oh, 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 oh. you go back to when he, you know, he was drafted 199th in the sixth fucking round. And just that hit, Mo Lewis on Drew Bledsoe and the rest is fucking history. He's from San Mateo. He's from San Mateo. He's from San Mateo. He's from Father Sierra. I changed the name of the high school. I say change it to, you know, Brady Bonds. There's other athletes there. I think, let those guys decide. Come on, you're the pillar now. You have all the money and all the what you, what you do with your money makes me sick, Brady. You know, I mean, don't even get me going. I don't like what he's about. I don't even like what he's about as far as his money, whatever. But it's the athlete. Come on, come on. Change the fucking name. What's this got to do with the salmon collapse and fucking, oh, just everything. The Spanish murders. Fucking, I'm so thrilled and... Walton says, what are you talking about? No respect. I think at least five Pac-12 teams will play in the Final Four. It's one of the great lines. You'll be better on fucking Balco. Come on, Brady. Put Barry Bonds in the fucking Hall of Fame. One of the greatest players that ever fucking lived. He says, oh, you fuckers want to get on Balco? You want to Mark McGuire my records? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You want to fucking get this steroid goon going to fucking place me? Watch this, fuckers. Watch this. I watched him. I was in San Francisco, fucking living right off hate Ashbury. I remember fucking Groovy Gravy scooping me some fucking ice cream right there on the corner. 
you know, that fuck, but me and Patrick did all that great work at the fuck Phyllis Wattis MoMA. She's from Ogden, Brigham Young's fucking granddaughter. I mean, it all roots in the gold. All of it roots to the gold, you know. What a beautiful, special fucking place. You don't have to believe me. Read the fucking Don Quixote fucking pseudo de facto heaven. We're not leaving. We're not leaving. 29 different indigenous fucking people from different places in the world, including the Portuguese, including the Chinese, including the Mormons, all lived in Old Town in symphony. Until at 1863, the Christian Wars were hired by the United States government, and they come and slaughtered them in Mission Valley and fucking mass murder. They tore down fucking San Diego Stadium. I mean, don't even get me going. It's disgusting. You know, I knew all this from a child. That a Gary House is iron because Mike and Gary makes five million off my back. He got five. I'm the guy that shut down Santa off for the new corrector. I'm the guy. My father fucking murdered. I was conceived there, literally, right there on the beach. No wonder I'm so fucking mutated. Shut down Santa Office is the greatest grassroots accomplishment in fucking United States history. Black Lives Matter, which was stolen and co opted from the Million Mass March. A Million Mass March invented that. I was in PB then. Right there, probably. I was probably right there at the old tomato juice bar. I used to get my juice in right there. There's a cross from Civic Beach Elementary. Thank you, young ladies. I don't know if you knew these stories, but you do now. And what an accomplishment. Thank you in San Diego. Fuck, who's the lefties now? Fuck, I thought San Diego fucking Duncan Hunter's rabbit. No, he's inland. Their brains are cooked. And if you don't know who Duncan Hunter is, or his, he used to fly a first-class seat for his rabbit. Trump pardoned him. And the kids that stood up and fought back, fuck, PB's a fucking gem. Do not kid yourself. <laughs> Fast times at fucking Ridgemont High, that was based on all us kids at Mission Bay. You know, at Weber High. Where it's written right there, Nick's. I'll be at Nick's hopefully for my 16th birthday. I'm redoing it. We're gonna have our party there last year. You know, change the fucking name, Brady. You know, change the fucking name. Change the fucking name. Come on, Brady. You're the man. You're the man. I mean, you have all the fucking power in the world right now. You know, you passed fucking George Bland. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the Raiders, the Invaders, change the fucking name. Father Sierra is one of the great mass murder and fucking evil killers in the history of the world. Hopefully soon, one of you girls show up. My daughter, you know, she's so beautiful, the fashion designer. I got to tell you about her wedding, the training, see? I take the train all the way across. It's an old train that goes to the island of the island, the Trainian Sea. She's the fashion designer. She married the Gucci model. Eight-day wedding. Fuck, I never paid for it. Gucci Fendi wedding. All the models showed up. Eight days in the Trainian Sea. Whoa. So that's the tradition over there. You dance with her. Santa Barbara sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Listen to Buck Owens. He's got to be from the Bay, the 40 boys. He is from the Bay. <laughs> Fucking. Just got back from Illinois. Locked the front door. Oh, boy. Dude, I love those guys. Mm. They're from there. Oh, God, it was so beautiful, man. Point Reyes. I, oh, I did so much.